What is going on, Pokemaniacs? Today we are taking a look at some of the hottest modern Pokemon cards. Some of that you may not even know, like this LeChonk, if you have this in your collection. While dollar-wise, not the biggest gain. 72% growth, though, in the past three months, which is kind of crazy. It's went from $1.50 to 289 The one-month chart shows 31% growth. And we'll take a zoom out to the one-year. Even on the one-year chart, it's up almost 40%. So it's at one-year high. A super adorable card. I mean, there's tons of cards like this out there in the market that are not very valuable. You know, they're easier to pull and just the artwork isn't just not as appreciated as much as maybe it should be. So there's a few cards on this list and then we're going to get to some more of the serious cards at the end. Uh, but next up we have the, this is the Houndor. Also, this is from Obsidian Flames. 26% uh, growth on the past three months. It went from a low of two up to three dollars. So once again dollar wise not the not the biggest but it does feel good when you have these cards in your collection and you can say hey this card went up 26 percent in the past three months and on the one year chart it's actually looking really good 76 percent growth looks like the bottom here was a dollar 60 was about the lowest so almost doubling in price over this one year period it's another cool artwork underrated underappreciated some of these illustration rares get lost in the sauce it kind of seems like and this is one of those so I mean, in my opinion, I think that a lot of these cards could go up a few dollars more, but they just don't always get the attention that they need to do that. So we'll see where this Houndor ends up. I do like Houndoom as a Pokemon, one of my favorites, but next up we have, so this is another gold card. After the Surging Sparks gold Pikachu was, it's kind of like popping off going up. It's The gold cards are actually really hard to pull. They're kind of undervalued currently in the market because they are more difficult than the special illustration rares to pull. But this card's seeing some decent growth, 17%. Nothing crazy, but 17% for a gold card's pretty good. And 15% coming in the last month. On the one-year chart, though, it's not even at its one-year high. It was 26, and it's low of 15. So we'll see where this one ends up. I just wanted to... I took a look at this after the, the Pikachu from Surging has been doing good. Now, we've talked about this card a long time ago. This is from Twilight Masquerade. This is the Infernape. This card... Almost seeing almost 50% growth in the past month alone. And it's only 20% on the three-month chart. It was over here at $8 and went down to 6 But now seeing it at over $10 is some pretty good gains. Not at its one-year high. Its one-year high was, we're not too far away, $10.79. If we're at $10.19 was the most recent sale. And there's even a $12 sale. So if this card, this is the same, same thing. Cool Pokemon, undervalued, underappreciated card. So we'll see where this one ends up as well, but those percentage gains, uh, what was the first one again? Yeah, almost 50%. Yeah, the, that's nothing to sneeze at. Then we have the, this is the Paldean Tauros from Paldea Evolved. This is the last card in this category of these kind of lesser cards, and we're going to get into the big boys, so don't worry. But this is the same, same situation. When I saw this card, I was like, whoa, this is a really cool card. Not the most popular Pokemon, not, not the most popular version of a Pokemon, but I thought that it was cool artwork-wise. It's a pretty, pretty cool card. 27% growth on the past three months and 12% in the past month. We'll zoom out to the one year. And this looks like some pretty healthy long-term growth, almost 50%. It was as low as four bucks and now it's at eight, 826. However, last solds are lower, seven, 570. But then there's a few at nine and 11. We'll see where this card ends up. There's, it's a cool card, right? Next up, we're in the big, we're in the big boys now. The Umbreon continuing to climb. So, TCG player has the market at 1300 In the past three months, it went up 54%. However, the most recent sales, we're seeing 1495 14 14 So this is $1,400, $1,500 card raw, which is wild. Uh, that's what the strength of the market can do. The market is just so strong right now. Uh, I mean, what do we got in the last month? 36% growth in the past month alone. We'll zoom out to the one year. Obviously, at a one year high. It had its big run up to here. It went almost to 1,000. People said that was too high. Couldn't be that expensive. Came back down to the 800s, and now it's just ripping. The market is doing good things for Evolving Skies, and specifically the Umbreon now. And that made me wonder, what are PSA 10s going for if the card is like $1,400 raw? Well, PSA 10s are now 1,800. 1,800 to 1,850. Uh, the, the ones before were 1,700, but now it looks like we're in the 1800 range. I also wondered, what's the pop report? Where are we at? Pop report's right here. 
18,000 graded, 18,374, almost 14,000 tens, 13,797. So we've talked about this before, but to reiterate, most of the time pop reports kind of matter, but this is the exception to the rule. Pop reports mean nothing when you look at how popular Pokemon is, how many collectors are out there. There's definitely way more than 13,797 collectors that would like to have this card in a 10. There's just a lot of people missing out. So when things get rolling, pop reports mean literally nothing. But for the, for lesser cards, they do play a factor. We got a few more from uh, Evolving Skies. Not the biggest percentage gain, but the Espeon, the Espeon V, went on a little bit of a run. It went from 85 up to 104, which dollar-wise is a decent little gain. 17% in the last month. The one year, it's not at its one year high. Its one year high was 109. And last solds, we have a lower one at 95, but then we have a higher one at 134 and then 95. So we'll see where this card ends up. This set, I'm wondering how much attention, it's already super expensive and it gets a ton of attention, but what will this set draw after Prismatic Evolutions come out? because of all the evolutions we'll see. Uh, it's just something I've been thinking about. Then you got the big the big Rayquaza, 20% up almost in the past three months. The one month chart shows 12%, so nothing crazy, but dollar-wise, pretty big gains. Not at its one year high. It's one year high with $540. I would not be surprised at some point if this market continues to be this strong, that this is going to eclipse this mark at some point. It kind of feels inevitable. It seems like some of these cards, especially this one, this was always like very strong that this was going to follow the Umbreon to up, up, and away to the moon. Then we have, so this card, once again, not big percentage gains, the Lovebird card. Uh, this card got me thinking because of Surging Sparks, obviously. And this card is up almost 9% in the past three months with 8% coming in the last month. But it went from 850 to 930. So I mean, that's dollar-wise pretty good dollars for you. Uh, it has it is at its one-year high, so 26% growth over the past year. This card was a $700 card for a while, and looks like this it might be creeping up to a thousand. I don't know. There is one currently listed on TCG Player, and it is at 1500 from Krusty Krab cards. So we'll see. There's not a ton of sales that really happened in the past month. There is, there was a few. So, but that's the only one listed. We'll see where that one ends up as well. It could, if it, I don't think it's gonna go for 1500. That'd be a big jump, but somebody else will come and list theirs, most likely. Uh, then we have the Magikarp from Paldea. We, we've talked about this, but it went from 105, the low, up to the 150s, tw almost 30% growth. And 27% in the past month alone. Those are really solid numbers and big dollar gains for this card from 100 to 150. The one year chart does show that it is at its one year high, which is a bit, that's pretty big for this card. Last sold's 150, 150. There's a crazy 195 sale and then 144 and 150. There's 38 copies on TCG. This is an incredibly hard card to grade. It's uh, artwork wise, popular artist, very cool, obviously. I got the, the Gyarados from this as the the channel uh, little logo on the, on the channel. So I like this card and it's it's nice to see. It's it's wild when this set came out. I don't think anybody would have called that this card would be carrying this set, but it is what it is. This is where we're at. Uh, next up, we're just checking in on the previous GOAT of the era. Not really the GOAT, but the big dog of the SV era. This was the most expensive card, uh, and it's holding fairly steady. Percentage gain only up 7%. One month chart, looking good on the one month chart, 23% gain from 250 up to 318 in the past month. So that's very solid. And we are looking at, is this, this is not at its one year high, it's just a little bit off of, because that was back in October. There are 56 copies currently listed on TCG. We got 315, 318, 328, 320. This is one of those cards, one of those sets that I feel like, I don't think the card's gonna get too forgotten, but the set might get forgotten with all the, these new sets coming out. So another, another card to keep an eye on. 
next up okay we're just going to touch on this just quickly because we just talked about this in yesterday's video but the uh, pikachu it's at it's up 100 percent off pre-release prices pre-release prices are usually high we've compared this to the greninja uh, it's 100 percent gains is wild dollar wise it's massive 300 to 600 it's just doubling last sold there's 31 copies listed uh it doesn't matter if you change the chart the percentage changed a little but we're all in one month because it just came out last sold we're seeing 590 but before that 635 630, 645 25 630 650. so it really seems like at this point this is a 600 hundred dollar card you got if you want to buy one right now from tcg uh, it's 600 that's the lowest you got uh, somebody with no reviews and then 100 percent feedback 600 is the low just out of curiosity we will see what the highest listed is and it's 1500 so we'll see where this card ends up it is extremely difficult to pull we talked about this one in pretty much just under a thousand packs to pull this card some hype around it right now uh, psa 10s we touched on there were some some like shill bidding that was going on i wanted to check if there was any uh sales psa 10 sales on ebay that we could find and there is two so this one went 2800 crossed out uh which we're not able to see the final price uh on ebay i think there's some other websites where we can check if i had to guess that's 2500 just a guess i don't know and then uh 3100 on this guy right here and this did not do authenticity guarantee but this one did so that's not entirely surprising considering they're the first ones out not a big not a big shock to me uh this this psa 10 price will definitely come down it's supply and demand there's just not any psa 10s out there so those are the hottest cards that are moving evolving skies continues to dominate especially in a strong market because the market is just bonkers right now um Surging Sparks is upon us. We are not even a week uh, to the one week release date of Surging Sparks and things are getting crazy. More product will get opened. That much we know for certain. And the supply for the Pikachu will increase. But the same thing happened with the Greninja and the Greninja only ran up. So that's, that's a thing I really, really want to keep an eye on, obviously. Um... But yeah, I think that, that's going to do it for this one, guys. I just wanted to touch on some of the hottest cards. Some were percentage gains, some were dollar gains, some were both. Um, population reports don't matter if if a card is popular. And I will... That's that's, that's it. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Uh, if you're this far in the video and you're not already subscribed, do yourself a favor. Hit the subscribe button for daily uh, collecting and investing content. But I'll catch you in the next one. And remember, it was never a phase.